In this video, I'm going to talk about watch windows and how to use them in Excel. A watch window is simply a list of cells that you set up that you want to be able to monitor and you know, see the, the contents of regardless of where you navigate within the spreadsheet. So to turn that on, you're going to go to the Formulas tab in the ribbon. And then over here in the Formula Auditing section, you want to click on Watch Window. That will open up this window. Um, if you don't like it floating there, you can also drag it to any side to dock it along the edge. I'm just going to leave it floating here. And then to add cells, you're going to click the Add Watch button. It comes up already selecting uh, your current location, but you can click on another cell and then click OK, or click Add. And you can see it adds it to the list. So now we can see that value as, long as, as well as what book it's in, what sheet it's on, um, and the cell and the formula that's in it. Now, if you get very many of these, obviously it's going to be difficult to keep track of them. And that's where the name comes in. If you're not familiar with naming cells, it can be really handy. Here, I'm just going to click on this cell. I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to type in a name for that. We will just call that AV underscore profit. And now you see that uh, that name shows up in here, so it'll be easier to, for us to keep track of that. You can also add them using names. So I'm going to go back to Add Watch. I'm going to hit the F3 button on my keyboard, and then I get a list of all the names that have been created in this workbook. And I'm just going to add BK Profit, that's our Books Profit. Click Add. And then we'll also add the Equipment Profit. And again, I just hit F3 to get that list. We'll click OK and Add. And now we can see all three of those. So now let's say we navigate to one of the other tabs on our worksheet. So we can't see those combined totals anymore on our projections. But if I make a change to a number here and hit enter, and if you watch over here, you'll see that, that number immediately changes. So whether you're trying to monitor a cell that is at the far end of a large spreadsheet or on another tab or even in another workbook, you can add those cells on here and be able to keep an eye on them from anywhere you navigate. Um, the only, only catch is that if it is in another book, then that workbook has to be open in order for it to display in here. But I hope that makes working with large spreadsheets easier for you.